Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial by Alchemy Steam. My name is Flavia and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this super cute cami top that I'm wearing. And this is a very easy and versatile project so it's great for beginners. And since this week is Fashion Revolution Week, I decided to support the cause and only use reclaimed fabrics for this project. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please click like, leave your comments below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye! So as I mentioned, because of Fashion Revolution Week, I decided to only use reclaimed fabrics for this project. So what do I mean by reclaim, you know? So this fabric used to be a fabric that was on display at the showroom where I work. So I work for this Brazilian textile company named Kalimo. And uh, we have a showroom here in downtown LA where I work and we have a lot of fabrics that are either being displayed to show the prints or to show the fabrics themselves, you know? And so this one specific header, we were not gonna use at the showroom anymore. And so instead of just throwing it away, I decided to use it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys think about this before starting this project, you know? Is there maybe some leftover fabric from another project that you can use or some fabric scraps or maybe you have some older bed sheets or something like that that you could use you know so um, let's think about using what we already have instead of maybe going out and getting new fabric for that So first, I got this fabric, this reclaimed fabric, and I folded in half, salvage is mating, and then I pinned. And then after pinning, I folded again, uh, but the opposite direction like I'm showing. That way I could cut the front and the back at the same time. So I decided to use a cami top that I already had and my house as a pattern. Uh, I'm sure that you or someone that you know might have one in their house that you could use. So first I pin the neckline and then I fold it in half and then I place the folded part of the cami top on top of the folded part of the fabric and then I pin the side seam. So after I make sure that everything's aligned, the fold of the cami top of the fold of the fabric, and then I put some washers just for a pattern weight, and then I add seam allowance. I added half an inch on the side seams, the neckline, and the armhole, and then I added five inches to the front, and then I created this curve because I wanted the front of my cami top and the back of the cami top to be longer than the sides to give this sort of like half moon effect. And then I cut it. And now when you open it, you have the front and the back. Now we need to cut the fabric for our straps. So first I measured uh, the strap lengthwise and then I measured the width. So mine was around 12 inches length. So since the strap is folded in half, I need to do double that. So each strap is going to be around uh, 24 inches long and then I'm doing them two inches wide so I just went ahead and I cut a piece of fabric that is 48 inches long so that way I could cut both straps at the same time since each of them is 24 inches so and then I fold it in half since this is two and then I cut it that way I have both straps that we're gonna need for this project 
So since I'm using a reclaimed fabric and I didn't have that much of it, I decided to use a contrasting fabric as the lining or the facing in this case. So um, I'm using another fabric from Kalimo as the facing, but if you have more of the same fabric, I recommend using the same fabric for the facing. To create the facing, uh, I just place the top on top of the fabric that I'm going to use for the facing and that I marked it. Since I want to be mindful of the waist that I'm creating, um, I decided to do a super short facing, you know, so I could use this fabric that I have and not have to uh, cut into another piece. But if you have more fabric, you can do a longer facing. But if you're going to do a longer facing, make sure that it's long enough that it ends after the end of your bust. That way it won't be like, because if you do it only halfway, it could kind of squish your bust a little bit. So it's either before the bust starts like I did or after it ends. Also, depending on the fabric you're using, I recommend you cut two pieces of interfacing exactly the same that you did for the facing um, because depending on the fabric the neckline won't be as nice if you don't have interfacing I didn't use interfacing for this project but I feel like it might have given a sharper look if I did so I recommend you using it um, depending on the fabric if it's like a thicker fabric you might not need it but I just wanted to get, let you guys know. Then I pinned the facing to the top right sides together and I sew. Make sure that you stop a couple of inches before the end of the armhole and then before the beginning of the neckline so you can leave a couple of inches open in that like triangle part of the top because we're gonna insert the straps there so don't sew that part now that I'm done sewing the facing to the top what I did was I cut all the extra threads and then I trimmed the seam allowance and then after that I just turned the right side out that way um, we have it the way it's gonna be and then we press it to make sure that the seams are very nice and flat and then I hem the facing now it's time to start assembling the top so the first thing that I did I placed the front and the back right sides together and then I pinned the side seams. Now that the top's ready, it's time to sew the straps. So first thing is I fold them in half lengthwise and then I pin. And then I sewed using a overlock machine. But if you don't have an overlock, you can use a regular machine as well. Now what I gotta do is turn the straps right side out. So I place a safety pin on one of the sides and then I put the safety pin inside and then I push it through until I find it on the other side and then I flip it around. Now all I have to do is press them so they lay super nice and flat. And that's it, that's how we assemble the two straps.
and now we're gonna add the straps to the top so I place my hand in between the facing and the top and then I put the strap in that part that we left open of the end of the triangle where uh, I told you guys not to sew and then we pin and then we do the same thing to the back you know hand between the facing and the shirt grab the thing the strap and then pin and then do the same thing for the other side now it's time to try on the top please be very 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 careful because there's pins if you don't want to use pins you can put safety pins uh, because they won't poke you and so it's a little bit safer you know so uh, try them on see how the straps are you know mine were a little bit too long so I had to adjust them so what I did was I unpinned and then I put my hand again between the facing and the top and I pulled that part that was you know left of this strap to tighten it and then I pin it again you see so you can fix it on the spot kind of and pin it already um, and then take them off and then measure both straps to make sure that they're the same length now that we know that our top fits nicely all we have to do is spin all around and then we're gonna top stitch that top stitch is gonna attach the straps and then it's also gonna give it a nice and polished finish so we just top stitch all around very close to the edge ham the top and that's it we're done I hope you guys like this tutorial and that you used nice reclaimed fabrics for this project if you do make this top using this tutorial please share pictures on Alchemy C social media thank you and I'll see you guys next time bye